Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to more swashbuckling adventures in the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. As you can see, last time we visited the local jail cell, met with the um, very interesting sheriff, who's the law enforcement officer around here, and he's, uh, he's, a, he's a jerk, uh, and we explored more of the town. It was pretty cool. Now, today we have explored pretty much all of the town now, so it's time to make our way towards the rest of Melee Island. We can start by hiking back to that observatory we started the game at. Come on, come on. Sometimes Guybrush just don't want to walk, which is a bit annoying. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on, Guybrush. I wish I could use the keyboard to uh, move him around, but that's not that kind of game. It's point-and-click adventure game. Ah, the scum bar. We'll be back eventually. All right, walk to the cliffside. And this should take us to the rest of the island. Ah, hey, dude. Do you ever wonder if we're all just characters in a novel? <laughs> Yikes! Oh, you almost scared me to death. I thought you were a... Oh, never mind. Hey, what did you say your name was again? <laughs> Who are you? I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships, and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors, especially uh -oh. not now. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? <laughs> Real cutting, Freepwood. Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. I'm over here. Huh? Oh. Yeah. I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Well, Shinetop's going down. Good luck. He's, there's clearly something very, very suspicious about him. Alright, so this is the overworld map. So we can go to the village. Uh, we're currently at the lookout point. Uh, well, where do we want to go? Let's go to the bridge. Oh, um, hi, Mr. None Troll. Shall pass. Hey, what's up? Stop! You must pay a toll. <laughs> Look behind you, a mouse. I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. Oh, come on. None you shall pass, pass until you pay the toll. <laughs> Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. And a mighty Christian. <laughs> Gabber Shrewdwood. No pirate. Well, the town drunk could out insult you on his back. <laughs> Probably would. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. You know, you could stand a lesson or two if that's <laughs> the best you could come up with. Well, would you like to? Would you like to be my teacher? You can't pass until you pay the toll. Well, please, can't I pass? <laughs> oh, boy, do you sound like a wimp. Hey. I like wimps. Boy, that that's a low. Being a wimp's nothing to be ashamed of. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? Hmm. Some semi-rancid meat. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. Construction paper jockey shorts? <laughs> Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. Okay, we're like the same size, do this. pass until you pay the toll. Well, how much did you say the toll was? 
I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. No! I wanted to offer- <laughs> Hang on. Okay, hang on. Well, obviously he wants the rubber chicken. That's pretty useless, but it's not what I want. Oh, come on, dude. None shall pass. <laughs> okay, if, if you offer him the rubber chicken, he'll, you'll be like, I can give you this rubber chicken. He's, that better not be a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I already have one. <laughs> None uh, shall pass. That's pretty useless, but it's not what I want. None shall okay, pass. just shut up, dude. Uh, I'll give you my last coin. None shall pass. With such a paltry amount. Oh, he was lying. Okay. None shall pass. That's pretty useless, but it's not what I want. How is that useless? I want something that will divert attention from things that are really important. It, okay, you keep saying that. <laughs> Stew pot. That's pretty useless, but it's not what I want. None uh, oh, I know. I have the minutes from the last PTA meeting. That's Here you go. Pretty useless. No, come that's on! What I want. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, I'll have a fish. Ah, a red herring. Something that will divert attention from visitor important, like a red herring. And he himself was a red herring! Oh, I love the way he puns. Stan's previously owned vessels. Well, look at all these torches, that's pretty cool. Cute, but small. It's biffy. <laughs> Ooh, there's a sign. Let's read it. Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Have a look around. I'll be right back. Stan. Okay. Uh, is that a bucket? Uh, there's a door. Welcome to Stan's pre no. previously owned vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the yes, I know. previously owned marine transportation. <laughs> is there a way to skip the dialogue? I don't Have think there is. Around. I'll be right back. I was trying to open the door. Stan. Why what's anything special about it? No, nah, man. Breathmaster, for the pirate who cares about first impressions. Oh yeah, that's hmm. me. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. <laughs> Grog. <laughs> I wonder what Possibly that's supposed that to be. <laughs> yeah. Grog. Diet Grog. Cherry Grog. Grog Classic. Caffeine Free Grog. And Root Beer. Yay! Oh, we gotta use that. Alright, well. We're gonna use... Let's... We have one piece of eight, so... Let's buy something. Huh. Nothing. Oh, what?! Oh, that, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I wanted grog! Cherry grog, dull, of course. Dull, dull, dull. Oh, come on, guy brush. <laughs> oh, how about this one? That one looks good. Come on, how could you say no to that one? Ah, a fixer-upper. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm surprised this one is still afloat. What do you mean? That one looks pretty sweet. Am I the only one who thinks that one looks pretty sweet? It's better than this one. This one's tiny. Looks like one of those well-engineered imports. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Well, this one is pretty large. I like this one. <laughs> now that's a nice-looking vessel. All right. Well, Guybrush, that's your dream boat. Get it. <laughs> well, when we get enough pieces of eight, we'll we'll buy it, okay? And because it's previously owned, we'll get a good deal on it. Because surely Stan's a nice guy. Let's go to this guy's house. Ooh, sword. 
Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. <laughs> Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Well, well, this, he seems like a great guy. Let's go! Well, I think I'll knock. Probably good. It'd only be polite. Maybe you don't just want to open the door. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? <laughs> um, could you please put out that cigar? <laughs> it's not good for your health, and it smells terrible. <laughs> sure, I'd love to put it out. In your face. Uh, maybe I'll just leave instead. <laughs> good idea. Well, that seems rude. I mean, I'm trying to help you, man. By the way, I'm Godbrush Freepwood, mighty you pirate. Want? You gotta help me out, man. Can we step inside? It's a little chilly out here. What did you say? I said it's a little chilly out here. Huh. You're right. I could catch a cold. Okay, that was, that was a good comeback on his part. Come on, man! What do you want? Do you know where the Swordmaster lives? Forget it, kid. She cut your head clean off. But... Unless, of course, you got some training first. Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? <laughs> better than the Swordmaster? <laughs> well, the dramatic close-up. <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. <laughs> I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. You know, you really should quit smoking. <laughs> what I really should do is make you eat this stogie. What, what the... <clears throat> smoking causes cancer. What do you want? I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? I do so have what it takes. <laughs> you just said you, you do didn't. not. I do so. You do not. I do so. <laughs> oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? <laughs> oh, well, let's see. <laughs> All I have is this dead chicken. This isn't one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle, is it? I've already got one. <laughs> what else have you got? Well, I figured you'd do it for free. <laughs> well, you figured wrong. What else have you got? I really did figure you'd do it for free. I think I'll wait. Thanks anyway. Fine. Stay a spineless speck of spider spit. Nice alliteration. But I, I literally offered you everything. Oh, I shouldn't. <laughs> I also have breath mints. I could give you my breath mints. <laughs> No, we can't do that. It's a shame. <laughs> the dirty, rotten pirate. Alright, we gotta go back to the village. Actually, no, you know what? No! We're going to the clearing first. Also, I love this music, and I still love the water effects. Just beautiful. This looks, um, uh, interesting. Oh, it's the circus! I thought the elephant ran away, but this is great. I think there's something going on in there. <laughs> no, really? I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I hurt my hand tame in the lions last week. 
I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Raffian. Fop. <laughs> That's Weasel. a great insult. <laughs> Fop. <Weasel. laughs> Miscreant. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> Nerd the well. I'm selling these. F Sanderson, <laughs> how do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance. <laughs> to perform an amazing feat. A death defying a feat? Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous a feat? No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying. Ferrucini brothers. That's us. My brother mm. Alfredo. And my brother Bill. <laughs> Sound good? Good. It's a very simple really. I love their accents. See that cannon over there? <laughs> All you have to do is uh, get in the cannon and we'll shoot you out of it. That sounds simple Across enough. The room. Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? How much will you pay me? <laughs> the important How questions. About 478 pieces of aid. Wow! Okay, sounds good. Yes, please. Have you got a helmet? <laughs> <laughs> of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? <laughs> Even though I literally just randomly walked well, into this. Let's have it. We want to be sure that it's a safe. Oh, of course, of course. You want you Actually, you wouldn't no want to get sued. I, I'd more like it. <laughs> Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. No, I wanna I wanna give it to what them. What possible use could that have? That's no helmet. <laughs> yes it is. I have a dinner pot. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Cool. <laughs> now we can do the trick. Step right over here, sir. <laughs> Guybrush Freepwood, now, mighty acrobat. Put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! <laughs> That's... Oh! I picked the wrong way to go in. It works! <laughs> oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating a lawsuit! Yay! <laughs> Just the recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. <laughs> I'll try it next! No, I'll do it next! No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! <laughs> Ruffian! Also, I believe oh. Bobbin Fredbear is the main character for, from Loom, which is a great reference. All right. <laughs> Don't know why I'm whistling Istanbul, not Constantinople. Anyhow, let's go back to the village. Okay, uh, that's the bloodthirsty pirate guy. Okay, good, good. We avoided the bloodthirsty pirate. Do, 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 do. Well, now we have a bunch of money and we can buy a bunch of stuff. Come on, Guybrush. Walking's not that hard. I couldn't tell if those were leaves falling in the game or if those were, like, giant bugs that were on my computer screen. I'm so glad it wasn't giant bugs. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, but do... Now it's only you again. I'm selling these fine leather Come jackets. back to the map for the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, huh? I hope you brought enough money this time. I did. I won't believe it. <laughs> I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. Alright, well, let's check it out. I think I've been had. 
This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. <laughs> Do the monkey back two, three, four, left two, three, four, right two, three, four. <laughs> Wow, this is like the pirate's version of Dance Dance Revolution. Yar, we be loving the Dance Dance Revolution. Of course, they only play on the expert difficulty. I stink at Dance Dance Revolution, so I am so glad I am not there. Oh, um, hi. All right, well. Slashmaster, when you want a sword as sharp as your wit. Bam. We'll get that, and we'll get the shovel, and then we'll actually ring the bell to get on the guy's good side. <laughs> I still love Guybrush's animation. It's so good. All right, let's ring the bell. Oh, I should have known it'd be you again. Hey, I rang the bell this time, because I'm actually going to pay for this stuff. What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. I'm sure what it is. Because now I can hold up your store. About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? Uh, excuse me, but want? if I it's first come first serve for treasure hunting. I think I'd just like to browse. Then again, if it's an island oh, filled with pirates, guest, like you'd, you'd think, you'd think you that want? most of the treasure would be gone by now. I'm looking for the swordmaster of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. <laughs> oh please, I won't steal anything this time. I promise. <laughs> There's nothing left to steal. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. <laughs> I love the way he walks, too. I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't How am I a weasel anything. boy? I don't even look like a weasel. Alright, so now what we gotta do is follow him. Which hopefully won't be too hard. Yeah. He's, he's a fast old man, so we, we gotta be on our A-game. Alright. Aw, uh, he's not going to the scum bar. I was hoping that the Swordmaster would just be in the scum bar. But, no. Oh, there he goes. We're right behind him. This is amazing. Alright, so he's walking on the path now. And we can see... Yep, that's the storekeeper. Oh, look at that! He just wandered into the forest. And this is the Deadwoods. We just gotta follow him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing that he, he knows the way, because it's good luck getting through this forest without following him. It's huge, and there's no rhyme or reason to it. Oh, dang. That's impressive. I already like this sword master lady. <laughs> She's got an impressive secret hideout. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see I this conversation. Just stay back here and eavesdrop. Yes, they clearly won't see you there, Guybrush. <laughs> Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. 
Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. <laughs> now scram. <laughs> oh, thank goodness he didn't walk back the way he came from. That would have been terrible. <laughs> he would have seen me. And then been like, what? You stupid son of a... Yeah. Hello, lady. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission. <laughs> which I surely didn't give you. <laughs> I love these close-ups. <laughs> Hi, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. <laughs> Do you have one in size three? Of course you don't. Because you're not really a jacket salesman. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Jeez, <laughs> smart. What was your final grade in Captain Smirk's sword fighting class? Uh, uh, grade? Class? You mean you came here to take on the Swordmaster of Melee Island, possibly the greatest sword fighter in the entire Caribbean? Without a single lesson in the art of fencing? Yep. <laughs> How did you expect to defend yourself? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> I see. Obviously not with your razor-sharp wit. I'd advise you to seek out Captain Smirks and get some real training. But... It would hardly be ethical, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as yourself. So beat it. That was rude. Come, that seemed unnecessary, lady. Come on. How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's <laughs> you again. <laughs> My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. <laughs> Nothing like being honest. I told you, I'm not going to fight you until you get some training. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, I want to fight now! Slashmaster, <laughs> when you want a sword as sharp as your wit. Digmaster, the only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. <laughs> can we, that doesn't seem to work. Can we kill her? <laughs> How dare you approach her? No, come on! Master. I said use the item on oh, her! <laughs> it's you again. I beg your pardon. I must talk to you. I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself yeah, to the pirate leader. Come on, let me skip this. One day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Do I have to watch this again? No! <laughs> I told you, I'm not going to fight you until you get some training. I am sorry, everybody. Alright, use That's the sword. Work. Oh, Guybrush is just like, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. No. Oh, I can't even go out the way that the old guy did. He knows some secret path out that I don't. <laughs> that walk! <laughs> the walking animation, it's just beautiful. <laughs> Ooh. Now the nice thing is we can shortcut to the Swordmasters whenever we want. Alright, let's go back to Captain Smirks and get some training. <laughs> pick up the door. <laughs> I can't pick that up. What do you want? Oh, it's you. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Cool. Let's see your sword. That's less cool. <laughs> I do have this deadly looking chicken. <laughs> yes, yeah, swinging a rubber chicken with a big metal pulley in it can be quite dangerous. But it's not a sword. <laughs> Let's see your sword. <laughs> I don't want to show it to you. <laughs> I think you'd better. Let's see your sword. <laughs> okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, I know how to shop. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Okay. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. 
I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. Gee, thanks, man. <laughs> yes. I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student mentor pieces of eight bonds <laughs> that I'm going to these lengths. Cool. I'm gonna put you put you up, up the against... cigar? Come on. The machine. The machine? <laughs> Is this gonna hurt? <laughs> Come at me. Don't be afraid. You won't hurt me. Use your <laughs> forte monkey. against the foible. Use your forte against the foible. Distance. Distance. Advance. Thrust. Recover. Parry. Repulse. Distance. Those distance. are just words. Hours later. <laughs> You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kinda like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. Ooh. One that catches them off guard. Nice! You see, kid? Your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. So it looks like your Let's wit is pretty darn rusted. Huh, huh, huh. Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... <laughs> So's your mother. <laughs> I can see we've got a lot of work. That's like the there. ultimate comeback, though. It works you for like everything. Responded with something like, "How appropriate! You fight like a cow." You see, it's razor sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this: you're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> no, no, no. That was the response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Oh. A correct response to Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would have been something like First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor yeah, sharp. That does that's not now, a very funny comeback. I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. <laughs> oh, then that works on so many levels. It works on like his level and my level and everybody watching this Let's Plays level. I think that's a great spot to end right there. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Forty. Tune in next time. We're gonna insult some people, <laughs> which is not a very Christian thing to do. But you know, uh, what can you do in a game like this? Hope to see you then. Have a great day and God bless.